want to look you in the eye. Let's go. If it's game day, Kyle Williams has something to say. Everybody. Hey, man, these moments don't come back around all the time. They just don't. They're fleeting. They're here today and they're gone tomorrow. Take advantage of it. I'm a shoot from the hip guy. I I'd like to let um, my emotions out, wear my heart on the sleeve, and, and kind of be in the moment. This game is going to be won in the deep water. What do I mean in the deep water? Everybody's comfortable in the shallow end with two feet on the ground, all right? All right? We live in the deep water. Woo! We live in the deep water where yeah. it's uncomfortable, where it hurts a little bit. Yeah. That's where we live. Yeah. And I'm not talking about playing hard. Everybody talks about playing hard. I'm talking about straining your guts. I'm talking about from the bottom of your feet. Mm. I'm talking about seeing sparks in your eyes, and it hurts. I'm talking about straining for that logo on the side of your helmet and not the name on your back. Yes, sir. Because we know what it represents. It represents everybody here you see yes, and everybody you can't that we've talked about. Yeah. It's really kind of a way to put myself out there, to push myself and motivate myself as well as get my teammates ready to go. So it's kind of twofold. I'm here to strain with you, man. I swear to God, I'm here to strain with you. Let's go. Everything you got, strain Ooh, with everything you got. Let's go. Let's go. Bills on three. One, two, three. Bills. A lot of that is holding myself accountable mm -hmm. into a higher standard. Because if I stand up in front of 53 men and I lay a bullet point out of what we want to do and who we want to be, Am I willing to go out on the field, whether it's practice or the game field, and not be all of those things? For more than a decade, the Louisiana native has done those things and more for the Buffalo Bills. In addition to mastering his oratorical skills, he's taking care of the dirty work in the middle of the Buffalo defense. I'm gonna say I'm Tal Mario. It don't matter, hell, I don't care. I'm dirty, I got blood on me, I probably my pants, ain't no big deal. <laughs> Right, he is set. He is brought down by Williams. Kyle Williams dropped Tom Brady at the 16. Not bad for a guy who was considered by some to be a long shot and was only picked in the middle of the draft. Okay, so you get drafted fifth round, 2006. First overall pick of the fifth round is, yeah. Please strike that. And let's make sure we get. I'd like to be factually well, correct. It's just, you know, when you're the first overall pick, there's a lot of pressure that comes with that. Exactly. So, yeah. Here you are, coming from a program like LSU, you only lose 11 games in four years. You come to Buffalo who hadn't sniffed a playoff since 99. Yeah. So how do you, as an athlete, as a competitor, sort of wrap your head around that? Well, I think the main thing is just knowing that all that you're expected to do is compete. Boys, if I'm coming, I'm just gonna yell, watch out. It's really hard to win in this league no matter what. If you don't go out and put your best foot forward to compete, to work and prepare, mm -hmm. you don't have an opportunity to win. Where if you do, it's not guaranteed you'll win, but you have a greater opportunity to do so. He's got an incredible motor, and that's what's in part made him really good for a number of years. Too. He's like one of those Volkswagen Beetles that just always goes, and you can hear it coming down the street from about three blocks away, and you hear it, it grows, it gets louder and louder, then it bang, it goes by your house, and that's the way Kyle plays, and I appreciate that. Just watch this effort right here from Kyle Williams. He rushes, he wraps around, he keeps coming, he keeps hustling, and he makes the stop. That's the motor that you love. For the first 11 years of his career, Buffalo's longest tenured player only experienced postseason football during his five trips to the Pro Bowl. Heading into their 2017 season finale in Miami, the Bills had a chance to earn their first playoff spot in 18 years. This time, Williams made his largest statement on offense. We threw the ball into the end zone, had a pass interference, and it was first and one from the one. And I said, well, if they're going to call it, they're going to call it now. I would hate, I, and actually, I think I told them, don't call this at a pivotal point in the game. Like, if it's third and one and the game's tied up and it's late, let's not, let's not do this. You know, I would rather not be that guy.
I told him on the field. You think I got to fall out when you throw the ball? Yeah. Some are calling it the, the greatest touchdown run in the history of the NFL. <laughs> there, there's a lot of things that are going along with that run. Unbelievable call. They put in Williams as the fullback, and he scores a touchdown. <laughs> I don't want to take too much credit. You know, only dodge the whole defense in the backfield. There's a whole lot of things. First rushing touchdown for Kyle Williams. And they're going nuts for the heart and soul of that Bills team. So you guys win the game. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to wait and see what happens between the Bengals and the Ravens. I'm in the locker room with my two older boys. I'm going to get you real sweaty if they win. I'm gonna... It was such a cool thing. It's something that you don't really see much less experience. Buffalo will be in the postseason if Cincinnati comes back to win it. It's fourth down. The Bengals need 12 yards to keep this drive alive. Dalton steps up. Dalton throws. It's complete. It was just such a unique, emotional, just awesome experience. Yeah! Hopefully we don't have to do that again to go to the playoffs, but it was something you just never forget. Hey man, not us, right? Well, not us. Yeah, not, not us. us. Let's tank it, man. Let's 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 just be done with it. You don't know anything about heart. You don't know anything about work. Yeah. Huh? That's who we are. That's who we love. These boys are going to enjoy it with their dads. Yeah. 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 They knew what was coming. They wanted to come celebrate with us. Yeah. Hey. How do you want to be remembered? Well, I've been asked that question before. The yeah. only thing that I would take pride in and I would enjoy <laughs> is to say, hey, you know who would be a good guy to have on this team? Kyle Williams would be a great guy to have on this team. Look at that effort. And that's really my only hope. You gotta get me choked up, man. I love playing with you. I love it. I love it.